Hello everybody. So today I have a video for installing XRDP on a SUSE server uh, so that you can access the desktop GUI from a Windows RDP session. Um, so just to start this, I spent about a day trying to get it to work with uh, the KDE desktop that I installed when installing the server OS. And for the root account, RDP worked, but for other non-root users, the RDP session would close as soon as the desktop appeared. So I spent about a day trying to figure out what was going on and ultimately came to this solution. So uh, before we get started here, I have logged in as root. If you're not logging into your server as root, just run sudo before each of the commands, which I will have in the description of this video as well um, or you can switch to, to root user uh, so for the first command what we're going to do is install xfce so you can run zipper install dash t pattern xfce um, basically without this i wasn't able to start a session as the non-root user so we'll let this install Okay, so once XFCE is done installing, we're going to install XRDP. So you can run zipper install XRDP. And as you can see, it's also going to install XORG XRDP. So you can just hit yes. And then next, you'll want to enable or allow port 3389 through your OS firewall if it's enabled. So you can run system CTL status firewall D. So my firewall is running. To create a firewall rule, you can run firewall dash CMD dash dash permanent dash dash zone equals public dash dash add port equals 3389 forward slash tcp and then you'll have to reload the firewall so you can run firewall dash cmd dash dash reload okay so now to kind of illustrate what i was uh, saying at the beginning of the video if i want to connect to the server with uh, remote desktop. Well, I forgot one thing. So uh, we'll actually need to start and enable XRDP. So to do that, you can run system CTL enable XRDP and then system CTL start XRDP. Okay, so now we should be able to connect. And uh, just to show you, I'll log in with the root account, which will load the KDE desktop. Okay, so the desktop loads, um, it stays open from, from what I've been able to test. But if we try this now with a non-root account, so my account, It started loading the desktop, but then disconnected immediately. And from what I checked, if you look at your user's home directory, it has the X sessions or X session dot dash errors file. So unfortunately, at least with uh, my knowledge level, I wasn't able to decipher anything useful from this. Um, it says connection refused, start KDE. So I suspected a problem with KDE um, and the user that it's associated with. And I couldn't exactly figure out how to fix it. So what I did was I had installed XFCE because I found online that other users were having less issues with that interface or that desktop. 
So what you can do is run echo xfce for dash session and then output it to your user's home directory. So kjl for me home uh, kjl and then dot x session. And now you should have a file in your user's home directory that says when you open an X session, basically it's going to use XFCE. So now when I try to connect with SUS or with RDP, All right, so as you can see, I've loaded into the desktop, which uh, doesn't close. You can open stuff and start working right away. So that's pretty much it. It's a bit of a, a weird issue and sort of a workaround fix. But if you want to be able to connect to a SUSC server's desktop from a Windows RDP session, this is one way to do it. If you have any questions or comments, leave them down below. And as always, thanks for watching.